Hey there. <clears throat> I wanted to show you something that you might enjoy. It started because somebody said to me online, could you please just play a pretty straight ballad kind of style? Because I tend to be very decorative in my own way. And they said, just play it straight and then decorative so we can hear the difference. And I thought in kind of along that line, what I would do is give you a real typical jazz man's formula. A lot of times what guys will do, jazz players, is they're going to go ahead and play the first time through pretty straight. And then the second time, they'll go pretty far out. As time goes on in the piece, they'll push that improvisation so far you may not even know the piece. And they'll bring it back at the end. I'm not going to do this whole piece, but I will show you uh, some differences. And I'm going to play with and without the mic, too, because you might enjoy just hearing my sound either way. Here we go. This is Little Darlin', which is a, a jazz standard, very well known by Joe Pass. Start it again. This is the straight version. Let's go a little wilder without the mic. question becomes, which is better? I don't really ask that question very much. Um, everything's unique, everything's different, as long as it's played well, and the musician has control of their instrument and control of their tone, I think anything that they do stylistically can hold our instrument and, and be beautiful. Personally, I like to think of a song as a journey. And in my mind, that journey starts fairly straight with a presentation of the melody. Then it moves into something that's more creative, and then as far out as you can take it on a jazz improvisation. And then bring it back home to a straight play towards the end. Because um, that's a journey. You know, comfort, oh, here we go. Then like, like a, you know, like one of those rides in a theme park, you know, of 
and then at, at the end you bring it back down to make it comfortable uh, for the player. This is a, a very typical uh, organizational structure for a jazz player. And uh, but anyway, I was happy to happy to do that, and hope you uh, you know got a kick out of it. I don't play this too much without amplification because I I don't want to tire myself, and you know using it, the the mics it it takes less volume, and I think it wears the harp less, and it wears me less. So I like that. Anyway, take care. That's the story. <laughs>